Hello dear viewers, welcome to TV Martha. In our today's session, we shall be looking at question 11 for Ginger Joint Mob. We have so far discussed questions from 1 up to 10. And in case you haven't seen our previous videos, please check this playlist. You'll be able to find the solutions for questions 1 up to question number 10. So let us look at question 11. Question 11 part A says differentiate with respect to x, y equaling to e to power 4 x cos of 3x and y equaling to this. We shall begin with part 1, then we come to part 2. So part 1, we need to differentiate y with respect to x for which your y is equal to e to power 4 x, then cos of 3x. So looking at the solution, we shall have we are interested in differentiating with respect to x on both sides so you will differentiate this y with respect to x and e to power 4 x cos of 3x with respect to x so when you differentiate y with respect to x you'll get dy dx and this will be equal when we look at this we realize this is a product so it means that this will be in form of u uh, dv dx then plus v du dx so meaning your u will be e to power 4x and your v will be cos of 3x so your du dx will be same as 4 e to power 4x and your dv dx will be negative 3 sine of 3 x so that is what we shall get so it means the y dx will be same as u which is e to power 4 x dv dx which is negative 3 sine of 3 x then plus v which is cos of 3 x du dx which is same as 4 e to power 4 x so that is basically what we shall have. We shall try to look at the common factor. You realize e to power for x is common. E to power for x out. Then we shall remain with minus 3 sine 3x. Then plus 4 cos 3x. So we can have this as e to power for x into 4 cos of 3x minus 3 sine of 3x. And this will be your y dx so what are the most important steps here so doing this you'll be able to get your method and having this you'll be able to get your answer right so you'll be able to get your two marks for part a so let us look at part b part b we need uh, to get the y dx when we have this given expression so looking at part B, we are having this is part two, a part two. So we are having y as two minus x to power two into one plus x divided by four plus x to the power of three. So that is basically what we are having. So we need to get the y dx. So to get dy dx here, we can easily simplify this expression by introducing lean. So what we shall do is to introduce lean on both sides. So we are having lean of 2 minus x uh, squared into 1 plus x divided by 4 plus x to the power of 3. So this will be lean of y, which is equal to lean of uh, when you simplify this lean so you are dividing so it is initially same as having 2 minus x squared uh, into 1 plus x when you are dividing it means you will subtract 4 plus x to the power of 3 but here you are multiplying so it is same as having lean of 2 minus x to the power of 2 plus lean of 1 plus x then minus lean of 4 plus x to the power of 3 so you can try to simplify this to have 2 lean of 2 minus x plus lean of 1 plus x minus 3 lean of 4 plus x. So this is lean of y. 
So after getting this, now you can, after simplifying it, you can differentiate on both sides with respect to x. So differentiating on both sides with respect to x. So differentiating with respect to x, we shall get when you differentiate in of y, you differentiate y, then you divide by the same function. So when you differentiate y, you will get dy dx when you divide by y, so it will be 1 over y dy dx. So this is same as 2 times differentiate this, negative 1 over 2 minus x, plus differentiate this, when you differentiate 1 plus x, you get 1, divide by the same function, minus 3, differentiate this, 4 plus x differentiated is 1 over 4 plus x. So that is what we shall have. We can try to simplify this by getting the LCM first. So the LCM will be 2 minus x, 1 plus x, 4 plus x. So when you get this LCM, you divide it by that, you'll be able to remain with negative 2 into 1 plus x, then 4 plus x. Again, plus, get this, divide it by this, so which means you get 2 minus x, into 4 plus x next minus 3 into 2 minus x into 1 plus x so that is what we shall have so we need to simplify this so let us simplify it from here so what will be 1 plus x so 1 plus x this will be 4 uh, plus x plus 4x then plus x squared so this is what you get 1 times 4 is 4 1 times x is x x times 4 is 4x x times x will give us x squared so this is same as having x squared plus 5x plus 4 so when you multiply by this minus 2 you get minus 2x squared then minus 10x then minus 8. So we are adding there. Next, I want to expand this. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times x is 2x. This is minus 4x. Then this is minus x squared. So it means here we shall have 8 minus 2x minus x squared. So this is plus 8 minus 2x minus x squared then again we expand this this will be 2 plus 2x minus x minus x squared so this will be 2 2x minus x minus x squared so this is 2 plus x minus x squared so when you multiply by minus 3 you will get minus 6 then minus 3x then minus 3 when you multiply it here plus 3 x squared so the whole of this is over 2 minus x into 1 plus x into 4 plus x so that is what we are having so we can try to simplify this this is minus x squared minus x squared under this so that will go away so this implies we shall have this out this and that then minus 10x minus 2x so that will give us this is minus 10 minus 2 minus that will give us minus 15x and the next so this this and that is out so we have minus next minus 8 plus 8 will go away then you remain with minus of 6 so this is minus 6 over the same LCM. So, so the LCM is still 2 minus x into 1 plus x into 4 plus x. So that is what we have. So from this we have 1 over y dy dx. So we shall have this as 1 over y dy dx is equal to minus 15x minus 6 divided by 2 minus x, then 1 plus x, then 
4 plus x. So that is what we are having here. So from that, let us try to simplify this further. dy dx is same as having negative 15x minus 6 over 2 minus x into 1 plus x into 4 plus x. But we multiply by this y. So multiply by y this side. So you have that. So this is the same as negative 15x minus 6 over 2 minus x into 1 plus x into 4 plus x so this is 4 plus x times y we had y here so we shall multiply by this y so it means we are multiplying by 2 minus x squared 1 plus x over 4 plus x to power 3. So this will finally give us, so we can try to simplify this, this one goes, so we shall get negative 15x minus 6, we shall remain with here 2 minus x, because 1, 1 plus x will cancel, this will reduce that, so we shall divide by 4 plus x to the power of 4. So this can be simplified. This can be simplified as negative 3 into uh, 5x, uh, then plus, this is a 2, into 2 minus x, over 4 plus x to the power of 4. So you can multiply that, then you have negative 3 into, this will be This times that will be 10x. This times that, negative 5x squared. This times this, plus 4. This times that, minus 2x. Divided by 4 plus x to the power of 4. So this will give us minus 3 into, this is minus 5x squared. This is plus 8x. Uh, then this one here again plus 4 over 4 plus x to the power of 4 so we can simplify it further to have this as so when we pull out this minus this will give us 3 into 5x squared when I put back the minus there so 5x squared minus 8x minus 4 divided by 4 plus x to the power of 4 and this will be dy dx so now looking at 11 part b 11 part b says given the parametric equations x is equal to 3 minus 7 cos theta and y is equal to this then they need us to find the 2y dx squared in terms of theta so let us look at the solution so we are given x as 3 minus 7 cos theta and y as 6 plus 5 sine to power 3 of theta. So we look at the solution. So what will be the solution? 1, we are given x in terms of theta, we are given y in terms of theta. So for x equaling to 3 minus 7 cos of theta, we can get dx d theta, which will be same as differentiating this with respect to theta, and that will be same as negative 7 times when you differentiate cos you get negative sine so this will be same as 7 sine of theta and this will be dx d theta so you'll be able to get dx d theta likewise we have y as 6 plus 5 sine of sine to power 3 theta so we need dy d theta dy d theta will be differentiating this expression with respect to theta. Differentiate 6, you get 0. Differentiate this, so you have 5. Red, uh, drop the power, so it is 3. Uh, sine again squared, reduce the power by 1. But multiply by the derivative of sine, which is cos. So that is what we shall get. 15 sine squared of theta cos of theta. 
simply drop the power, reduce the power by 1, but don't forget to multiply by the derivative of sine. So that is what we are having as dy d theta. So what will be dy dx? So dy dx will be same as dy d theta times d theta dx. So looking at that, what is dy d theta is 15 sine squared of theta cos of theta. We multiply by d theta dx. d theta dx is the reciprocal of this 1 upon 7 sine of theta. So this will give us 15 over 7. This will be sine of theta cos of theta. So that is basically what we are having. So this is dy dx. So we have so far obtained dy d theta as 15 over 7 sin theta cos of theta. But our main interest is to get d 2y dx squared. So we shall go on and get d 2y dx squared. So d 2y dx squared will be same as, this is already in terms of theta, so what we do to get d2y dx squared, we shall first differentiate with respect to theta dy dx. Then after differentiating this, we shall multiply by d theta dx, since our interest is to get d2y dx squared. So this and this cancels, and you remain with uh, the expression which is equal, that is the left hand side and the right hand side. So this is same as differentiating with respect to theta, our dy dx, which is 15 over 7, a sine of theta cos of theta. Then we multiply by d theta dx. So d theta dx is uh, the reciprocal of dx d theta, which is 1 upon 7 sine of theta. So we shall multiply by 1 upon 7 sine of theta. So this will give us, so we shall have 15 over 7. Let us differentiate this with respect to theta. So it will be, this is a product, so maintain sine theta, differentiate cos theta. When you differentiate cos theta, you get negative sine theta. Plus, maintain cos of theta, differentiate sine of theta, and get cos of theta. So we multiply by 1 over 7 sine of theta. So this will give us 15 over 7 into negative sine squared theta, then plus cos squared of theta. So we are multiplying by 1 over 7 sine of theta. So this is same as having 15 over 7. This is cos squared theta minus sine squared of theta. Then multiply by 1 over 7 sine of theta. But this expression is same as having, this expression is same as having cos of 2 theta. So we multiply by 1 over 7 sine of theta. So this will give us, this will give us 15 over 49 times cos 2 theta divided by sine of theta. So we shall have this as 15 cos 2 theta over 49 sine of theta. And this will be our d2y dx squared. So this is d2y dx squared. Yeah.